Welcome back today. I've got a Borderlands 2 build for you guys of the Vault Hunter Axton the Commando. So this will be a level 30 build. I also have a OP10 build which will be in the description as well. Um, and yeah, I'll just be going over what skills I'll recommend at the start of the game to put your points into, what gear to grab and all that. There will also be a list of things to do in the description uh, for you to read to do as well. Um, and yeah, let's jump into it. If you could give us a like and subscribe, that'll be much appreciated. And I've nearly hit 200 subscribers, so I just wanted to thank everyone for all the support. Didn't really think I'd make it this far, but yeah, it's cool. Awesome. Alright, so, like I've done in my other build videos for my other level 30 characters, pretty much what happens is every Vault Hunter gets a unique item. That they start off with um, when you have the Lilith DLC and start at level 30. So pretty much what I've done is I've gathered all the weapons from every single uh, Vault Hunter, and I've either you can either duplicate them to each of your other characters, or you can just quickly drop them to a second controller. I uh, also have a duplication guide, if um, which I'll put in the description as well of how to duplicate weapons in Borderlands 2. And pretty much what I've done is, is I've just grabbed all the unique items and just put them on all of my other characters as well as any guns that I think are decent like this uh, shotgun is from one of the other Vault Hunters. It's one of the starting weapons. This um, Absorb Shield as well which is good paired with the Logan's gun if you go uh, kill Wilhelm. That means you can have infinite rocket ammo with this. Um, and yeah, so you pretty much just want to duplicate the Hail, Lady Fist, Heartbreaker, uh, Lascaux, Hive from your other characters. And then as well as any other gear that you think, just, just to have a good start. And then you can also go tip Moxie at the start of the game and get the Miss Moxie Bad Touch and Good Touch. And you can go around and grab the B-Shield from the DLC and all this all the rest of the items will be in the description or on my other level 30 build guides of what I recommend to do before you go into true bowl hunter mode just to make your life just a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, you can pretty much just start with all unique uh, weapons before you even jump into the next playthrough. Um, and yeah. And then for the skills, I would start in the gunpowder tree and I would go into impact which gets you a increased gun damage by 20% and melee damage. I don't really care about the melee damage, it's more just the gun damage. Then we've got a kill skill metal storm which increases your fire rate by 60% and recoil reduction by 75%. Then we've got battlefront is while your saber turret is deployed you deal increased damage by 30% gun damage, 30% melee damage, and 30% grenade damage. So that's pretty good as well. So there's an extra 50% damage while your turret's up. Um, then this one here is a must-have. You can literally just throw your saber turret across the map anywhere, and it also gives you an increased 110% more health on your turret. And then I would also grab this one as well. It allows you to throw grenades while in fight for your life and increases grenade damage and rocket launcher damage as well. And then I would go into the left tree, grab ready. Um, this increases your reload speed by 40%. And then sentry, which will um, make your turret just fire more shots and have a more duration of having it up. The other skills I would recommend going into um, after this would be I would finish Sentry just for now. You can look at my OP10 build where I put about three or four points into it. I can't fully remember, but there's a full guide over that. This is just a starter guide. Then I would go and put points into Onslaught. Uh, Grenadier is pretty good for just having more grenades. Um, and then you want to get uh, Double Up, which adds a second gun to your um, saber turret. Then you can grab uh, Steady, which increases grenade damage and rocket launcher damage if you're using rocket launchers. So I would recommend grabbing these as you can grab the Logan's gun and pretty much have infinite rocket ammo. And then I would move on to, after you grab those skills, I would move on to the right tree and grab Preparation, Pressure, uh, quick charge is a really good skill to have 
um, maglock, which in, which makes uh, you be able to stick your turret to walls and ceilings, grab the bubble shield. Uh, grit is a really good one, which I don't actually have on my build by build guide but i will use it um instead of resourceful so you can swap those two out instead and then i'll grab gemini after that and that's sort of the uh baseline of how the best way to probably spec them out and yeah just make sure you duplicate all this gear from the other characters and i'll show you some gameplay as well Yeah. It's pretty easy when you have like all these amazing guns. Kind of just makes the start of the game in easy mode for you guys. Like, look at that. It just absolutely melts everything. And then the lady first, that gives you huge crit damage. It's like 800%. So it's eight times more damage than the base of what you would usually get. And then I will show you the hive. But yeah, you can go around and farm different bosses and stuff. I have a guide in my description of what I would recommend doing um, before you go on to the next playthrough. But um... Yeah, you can go around like farm King Mong for the barter boom, go to the trees and farm the bee shield to, just to have a like real good shield or whatever. Yeah, pretty much just makes the game on easy mode. For like the first like, you probably use these guns for like five maybe 10 levels and if you really wanted to you can use the skeleton to uh skeleton key chest by doing the um shift codes as well so you can pretty much just have uh purple gear up at all time for your next playthrough and hive So they just murders everything. There yeah, you can um well you don't really need to find Saturn, he drops the hive. Oh, yeah. If you follow what I do, it will just make your life so much easier starting the game. So yeah, that's the build guide that I recommend, so duplicate all this gear, use these skills here, and just follow what I would put my points into, and then I have a full guide on my OP10 build as well as, well as other characters. Um, yeah, if you could give us a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, thought this uh, video was helpful at all, and yeah, see you guys in the next one.